Pepper people, Grandpa Linky here, registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech. We're gonna go over the proper sizing of a full face mask. So I have a standard full face mask. This is, happens to be the Fisher & Paykel Viterra. Fantastic mask if you're ever looking for a full face mask. A lot of great features, not what this video is about. So I'm gonna pop off the cushion. Standard mask. Now this is a problem I see a lot of uh, when people are sizing their full face masks. Do a lot of these at AXG, sleepdiagnostics.com. Check it out. What we're looking for is the top part of here. We want it to settle. This is called the nasion, if you're a nerd. The low point of the bridge of your nose, we want this to settle on. You can find that easily by taking the mask and just gliding it down. And wherever it kind of funk stops, that's it. That's where you want this to stop. Now's where the work comes in. We're gonna swing the bottom part over. And here's the tricky part. We want this to come about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch below your slightly open mouth. The whole premise of using a full face mask is you can't breathe through your nose, you're breathing through your mouth, so your mouth's gotta be open a little bit, right about here. Okay? If it's right there, and you can swing this down and have this part of the cushion, not the bottom part, you want this part of the cushion to come within a quarter of an inch to a half inch, with this on the nasion, it fits. So let's check this out. Does Jawson's mask fit? Clunk. This is a medium. Slightly open. Uh-oh. Look in there. Did you see how close it was? This cushion right here only came, it came right up to my lip. Now, if my jaw opens even the slightest amount, it's going to be a purge at the entire bottom of the mask. Your night of sleep is going to suck. So what I would need to do in this situation is size up. I want it to be larger than that. Uh, excuse me, Jason. I use a hybrid mask. It's different. How would I fit that on the top of my nose? Lego man, I knew you were going to ask that question. We have the Fisher & Paykel Evora. Now this is considered a hybrid full face mask. Still a full face mask. Still covers up your nose holes as well as covering up your mouth. We don't have to worry about the nasium part. Nothing's going to, we're not doing this, right? It's going to be fitting up under our nose. With this snugged up though, does this part curl up? Same rules, a quarter of an inch to a half inch below our slightly open mouth. So I can get that in there and we can kind of see, oh my God. So I don't know how, but this mask got a bunch of my wife's hair on it. So these are much easier to size. The important part is, is this snug enough to your nose and does it create enough space at the bottom? Now cushions for these styles of masks, there's not like a ton of them. They're not like really crazy long. So you do have to be very careful in sizing these. Oh, excuse me, Jason. You haven't done the CPAP supplies advertisement yet? Oh, uh, now's a really good time to mention that because you seem like you're gonna miss it. Look here, friends. If you're looking for a good full face mask, you have two here, two different versions. This is Fisher & Paykel. Now, Fisher & Paykel used to kind of make trash masks, but their masks now are actually quite good. So they have a whole lineup. They have the Bravita, they have the Eson, which is a stupid name. Nice mask though. Then you have these full face masks, the Viterra, which is an improvement over the simplest. Then you have the Fisher & Paykel Evora, which is like the hybrid mask. I'm personally not a big fan of this, but a lot of people absolutely love it. You do get very nice leak rates with it. It's just not quite for me. So if you head on over to cpapsupplies.com, you can use discount code 20 lanky. These masks are typically cheaper than most other masks, but now you tack on another 20% less. And now you're talking about some real savings. They have some other great programs, loyalty rewards program where you get another 5% off. They also have a mask fit guarantee where if you got the wrong size, you can swap it out and get a different size. They're also known for their phenomenal customer service. Any mask, any accessory, 20 lanky, check it out, cpapsupplies.com. Now I'm gonna leave you with one more thing. If you've tried all this and you're like, Jason, it's awesome. I've done all these and my mask still leaks like crazy. I can't figure it out. I have several other videos to check out. It, they have to do with jaw drop leaking with a full face mask. I'll try to remember, I'll probably forget, to leave a link for that <laughs> in the description box. But if I forget, you can always search my channel for jaw drop leaking or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to leave a link, but I'll, I'll probably forget. So someone call me out in the comment section. All right, if you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, check that out, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Other than that, I thank you so much for watching. If you found this of value and you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out my boostings. 
because as of right now, I'm getting freaking crushed and it's time to start begging. <laughs> Many thanks for watching. Bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espolong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Chu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff. I need some personal advice from you guys. So I leave my camera, this guy right here, I leave it out kind of by my bed right here. And my wife gets upset by that because she feels, she feels it appears as if, it gives the false impression that we're filming videos by our bed, if you know what I mean, adult friendly videos. My mind doesn't bend that way. So the question I'm asking you is, if you walked into a friend's house and you saw a camera by the bed, what would your thoughts be? That's it, I'm gonna leave it there, open-ended.